All right, the last part of this chapter is about properties of solutions, and the only property that we're going to discuss is called osmosis. What is osmosis? Osmosis is described, like we could use the example of water. Water, which is a solvent, flows from the lower solute concentration into the one with higher concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. The levels of the solution will not be the same, but what is happening is that the two concentrations are trying to become equal. So if we see a picture here, we see that we have no solute here and we have solute here. This is a semi-permeable membrane. What is going to happen is that the concentration here is of solute is low, here is high, so the water will flow from here to here trying to make the two concentrations um, equal. The osmotic pressure is produced by the solute particles dissolving a solution. And this is the pressure that prevents the flow of additional water into the more concentrated solution. So um, this is important because of the um, we can apply this with the red blood cells. They have walls that are semi-permeable and they maintain an osmotic pressure that cannot change without damage. So we can have what is called isotonic solutions. These are solutions that have the same pressure of the red blood cells. And uh, this is the concentration. Hypotonic solutions are solutions that have lower osmotic, pre osmotic pressure than the red blood cells. Hypertonic solutions, they have higher osmotic pressure than the red blood cells. So in an isotonic solution, the red blood cells remain normal. It looks like this. But when we have a hypotonic solution, what is going to happen is the water flows into the red blood cell, causing it to swell. If we have a hypertonic solution, water is going to leave the red blood cells, causing them to shrink. What is dialysis? Dialysis is um, a process where solvent and small solute particles pass through an artificial membrane. Let's define this as um, isotonic, hypotonic, or hypertonic. As we recall from slide um, uh, 47, the concentration of um, red blood cells is 5% glucose, 9.9% sodium chloride. So this one is going to be Hypertonic is a lot more than that. For glucose, we want 5. So this one is hypo. Uh, sodium chloride, we want 0.9. So this is still hypo. And for glucose, it's uh, 5%. So this is iso. Again, go back to slide 47. And you will remember we have 5% glucose. That's the concentration of the red blood cells and 0.9% uh, sodium chloride. So if we have this 5%, this is we not change. Um, for a 1%, that's less, so that will make them swa um, swallow, swell, sorry. Um, this one is, the, is less, it still makes them swell. And 2% sodium chloride is a lot more, so it will make them trick. 